I have been back out in the garden this morning and I have picked me a couple of things and I decided that I'm going to make some quick raw hot sauce. So if you like hot sauce, stay tuned and we will get to it. So first I'm going to add one cup of white vinegar into my ninja. And to that I'm going to add a half a cup of plain water. Now. Because I had tomatoes and I like a tomato based hot sauce, I'm just going to throw me some tomatoes in there. I always just like dice mine up or make them small. I don't know why. I know the mixer can handle it, but it's just something I guess I do. So I picked jalapenos. That's the only pepper I have right now, but I happen to love the jalapeno flavor. So I'm just going to put in there, I think, three to start. So let's do three to start. And then I will taste it and I'll see if it's hot enough for me. I also diced, or actually I quartered in one onion. So I'm gonna put that in there. And the pickled garlic I made, I'm gonna put three cloves of pickled garlic. I need to do a teaspoon of salt. That's gonna be really important to help bring them flavors out. And then this has sugar in it, but I'm only gonna do a teaspoon. So I'm gonna do a teaspoon of sugar. I am experimenting today because I thought, man, a little bit of fresh basil in there might give it a very unique flavor. Plus, as you all know, I love basil. It is my most favorite herb, and uh, I could just about eat it on everything. So mm -hmm. how I juice my limes, well, first, to be honest, I do this. I roll it like that, roll, 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 to loosen up them juices in there. It makes it easier. And then I cut it in half, like this, this direction. And then I just use this and I juice it. Okay, I'm on my last half of a lime. And I was thinking while I was doing this, I wanted to remind to tell you, when I put in the salt, that was sea salt. Uh, salt with iodine will make things cloudy. I did, I did three limes and I wanna see how many tablespoons we get out of the three limes. So if you don't have limes to squeeze, you can use lime juice. So let's do this experiment and see. Four, so four tablespoons is one fourth cup, so it takes one fourth cup of lime juice. All right, so let's get our lid. I'm just backwards right now. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna hit the smoothie button and go ahead and mix this all up and then I'll be right back. I just love this machine. It does such a wonderful job. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do before I do anything else is we're gonna taste this and make sure it's got the flavor we're looking for. Let's add one more jalapeno. I'm gonna drop that right in there. So I'm gonna add two more pickled garlic. Let's put our lid back on. Okay, I have a clean teaspoon. So let's check the flavor now. Nice. Catches a little bit in the back of my throat. I like that. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. So what I want you to know is you can just do this with anything in your garden. You can make your own sauce, okay? This is just happens to be the way I do it and I always taste it and go from there. So what I do next is I have my strainer in here and I'm gonna strain out the little pieces. That Now I will save what I take out of here and I'll throw it in the freezer. So when I am cooking, um, if I have a dish that I think it would be good added in, or if I'm canning, then I'll use it then. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna throw this in the trash by no means. Nude. No, I don't like doing that. This is some good, uh, this is some good stuff right here. And if I happen to make this year, um, pepper uh, relish, hot pepper relish, this would be perfect to add to it. So I'm gonna put this in here. Nice. Take this off and then pour the rest of it in there. Uh-oh, <laughs> that was seriously not supposed to happen. I'll pick that up in a minute. <laughs> uh, oh well, you know what? This is real. This is how it happens sometimes, right? Things happen, nobody's perfect. So here we go. I'm draining that off there. See it coming through there? And then we're gonna put it in our bottle. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back with the strained hot sauce. And here's what I strained from it, which I'll be cooking with it. So I'm gonna keep it. Got our little funnel. 
And so I'm gonna funnel this into this jar and then I have my little top. And so let me go ahead and do this. enough for another jar you're able to utilize just a few things out of your garden and make yourself some of your own hot sauce with whatever flavors you want if you wanted to put oregano in here to give it a little bit more of that flavor um, you can do anything with this that you that you want to do be creative but use up your garden vegetables okay thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye bye